Annie Battle, and I'm going to be a senior next year at Bozeman High School, and I'm running for your student body president. I'm running for student body president because I think there's a lot of things I can do to help make the transitions to two high schools in Bozeman easier, as well improving student life at BHS by making it more spirited and better equipped to fit student needs. If I win, I plan on doing a few things, such as creating a spirit trophy, which would mean whatever high school in Bozeman wins the most crosstown games out of all of the sports will get to take home the trophy at the end of the year. Another thing I would like to do is I'd like to create the opportunity for students to paint parking spots, either junior or senior. These parking spots would not be assigned, but it would be a fun way to get people involved in art at our school and show our school spirit. I've talked to Dan Principal Mills about this, and he approved this idea, and we're going to look further into it. Another thing I would like to do is make the pep assemblies more exciting by adding lights and more activities and just trying to get our attendance rates up. The final thing I would like to talk about with you guys today is I'd like to create a way for students to be able to get in touch with the student council so that way everyone's voice can be heard and we can take into your, your opinion into account as much as possible. Thank you and vote for Ava, Ashley, and Annie for student body council. Hi, I'm Malcolm Davison. I'm running for student body president. Now I'm going to make this quick. As your student body president, I would make homecoming a two-school ordeal. I want to make everything more fun for our school. Now, I'm going, to get, I'm going to let you get back to using your free subscriptions and, you know, just procrastinating your online work. So, vote for me, Malcolm Davison, 2020, student body president. Thank you, and good night. I'm Kennedy O'Reilly. I'm a senior who is hoping to be elected as your student body president. As president of Bozeman High, I'm committed to three goals. First, we maintain a strong school spirit. We have a tradition of winning in athletics and academics, and I want us to continue this winning mentality. Second, I will work to make sure that extracurricular activities such as jazz band, the Decca Club, and the drama program continue to thrive. Third, I will be responsible for developing communication between our student body and administration that is open, genuine, and respectful. I would appreciate your vote. Go Hawks! Hi, I'm Ava Rosenzweig, and next year I will be a senior at Bozeman High School. I'm running to be your student body vice president. I'm running for vice president because I want to increase school spirit and make more of a community within the school. I also want to help ease the transition between the divide of Bozeman and Gallatin High School. If I win, I plan to work with the student body president to make school assemblies more fun for all students and increase the attendance rate. Ashley Boss, Annie Battle, and I have discussed with Dan Mills the possibility of creating a spirit trophy that can go back and forth between the two schools, along with the idea of painting parking spots in one of the parking lots. As vice president, I would want to listen to what the students have to say and what they want to be included in the school. Thanks. Go. Hi, I'm Ashley Boss and I'm running for student body secretary. I'm going to be a senior next year at Bozeman High School. I'm running because I want to make BHS the best it can be and love doing extracurricular activities through the school to be involved as much as possible. I plan to uphold all responsibilities of secretary and plan to work with the president and vice president to make sure we follow through with all plans to better the school. I am running with Ava Rosenzweig and AJ. Hey BHS, I'm Madison Collins and I'm running to be your student body treasurer. Next year, I'll be a senior at Bozeman High School. I'm currently the junior class president, and I'm running because I want to continue to staying active in the BHS community through the student council. If elected as student body treasurer, I will work hard budgeting our money with the student council, especially regarding the addition of the new high school. I also want to make sure that the student body budget is used to the fullest extent through events like homecoming and warp, as well as funding activities, clubs, and programs at BHS. Make sure to vote Madison Collins for student body treasurer. Go Hawks! What's up, BHS? I hope you are all safe, healthy, and happy during this crazy time. As you know, BHS student elections are happening soon, and I am excited to tell you what's up. My name is Helene Hart. I am a current junior at Bozeman High School, and I am stoked to be running for your senior class president for the 2020-2021 school year. The senior class president at BHS is someone who takes on a role of leadership by representing each and every one of you. And that is exactly what I aim to do. If elected as a senior class president, it would be my honor to work closely with the senior students and STUCO members in order to create a memorable and cherished year. 
specifically for the seniors out there. Many of you guys have been experiencing loneliness, isolation, or even just boredom throughout the past couple of months. And I know that now, more than ever before, many of you guys are appreciating and are missing school, interacting with your peers, and seeing your awesome teachers. We as a community have learned to not take these simple opportunities for granted, but instead embrace them when we can. And that is why I want to help you guys embrace the 2020-2021 school year and all that it has to offer. I will do this by working with the senior class students to create a fun and memorable year that is focused on what the seniors want. I have already heard from many of you and know that you would like more involvement in event planning, such as input on school dance playlists, so the music's actually good. Incorporating more senior-focused events into the school year. Incorporating more appealing activities into school assemblies, because we need to spice things up. Making sure that the Spirit Bus is available for out-of-town games, so we can cheer on our Hawks with the best student section in the state. And increasing recognition for all sports, clubs, and organizations. Because BHS is a diverse community, with everything from theater club, football, DECA, to tennis, BHS has something to offer for everyone and it should all be celebrated. If you want to see change at BHS, there is something that you think needs to be addressed, or you simply have a great idea that you want to implement into the BHS community, my job is to work with you to make sure that your ideas happen and that all voices are heard. I am focused on fulfilling the desires of the 2021 senior class. And while I may not be promising free Wi-Fi for all students, because we know that hasn't happened in the past, I am promising to listen to you represent you. Do my best to make ideas happen and make sure that the senior voice is heard in the BHS community. I will do this by facilitating questionnaires, surveys, and forums, and I'm always open to new suggestions and ideas via email or Instagram DMs. I want to bridge the gap between ideas and reality. I am here to represent you and be your voice. Vote Helene Hart for Senior Class President 2020-2021. Go Hawk! Ms. Jordan Raddick, and next year I will be attending Bozeman High School and I would like to run for your senior class vice president. I'm running to be our senior class VP because I want to make our year as fun as possible and what better way to do that than an office. We're the last full class at Bozeman High, so let's make it the best year yet. I'm here to listen to your ideas and take them into consideration. I'm hoping that in office, I am able to make our voices heard and our ideas a possibility. I would like to incorporate fun activities. One of the activities I would like to incorporate into our school is powder puff volleyball and football. I would like to incorporate more fun assemblies, such as a send-off assembly for our crosstown matches. Well, I want us to be as one. In my combo class, we've been talking about E Pluribus Unum, which means out of many, one. But for me, for office on May 22nd, see you next year, BHS. Yes, I'm Genevieve Lynch, and I'm running to be your junior class president next year at Bozeman High School. If elected, I want to promote school spirit and make BHS, and especially the junior class, a more inclusive community. As far as school spirit goes, I'll be working with future student body president Andy Jane Battle to provide opportunities of school spirit to you. To do so, we want to give juniors and seniors the opportunity to paint parking spots around the school, and we want to create a spirit trophy that will go to the school with the most sports wins throughout the school year. I can't wait for next year at BHS. I remember, vote Genevieve Lynch for junior class president. Go Hawks! Hey BHS, I'm Samuel Schmidt, and I'm running for the position of junior class president. I'm excited for BHS next school year. The school splitting has created a lot of anxiety, fear, and frustration for many students. The transition will be hard for a lot of people. Next year, my main goal is to make the school, and especially the junior class, a community of connective and supportive students. I will help create an inclusive environment for all students. I want to help as many people as I can feel welcome and at home at BHS. Go Hawks! Hey everyone, it's Farrell Sona Zulkarnan here, and I'm here to tell you that I'm running for junior class president for BHS. Even though we're in the, we're in the middle of a crazy pandemic right now, that's all right, because we're going through this together. So basically, my plan for Stuco and also Bozeman High School for in the future is to make uh, learning safer for students and also make the school better and more fun. This is Feral Suan Uzulkar 9. Vote for me and stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
Hey all you cool cats and kittens. My name is Avery Burkhart and next fall I'm running to be your sophomore class vice president. Next year I will be attending Bozeman High School and I believe that it is very important with the school split happening next year that we make that transition as easy as possible for everyone. Especially now that we've been moved into online learning so quickly we haven't even had a chance to say goodbye to each other before the split. By electing me as your vice president, I know that I would always listen to you, and by coming together with some good ideas, we can make the split as easy as possible. Thank you! Hi guys, I'm, my name is Austin Hannon and I'm running for student body president at GHS. I'm aware that this role is usually held by seniors, but as you guys know, there will be none at the new school. And if elected, I will strive to make the transition as smooth and natural as possible, which I think is going to require a pretty decent plan to remedy. So what I'm really going to drive home is to encourage everyone to show up to all school extracurriculars, dances, plays, sporting events, and to rely heavily on the school spirit. I plan on making GHS the best school in the state. None of this cross-town rivalry. We can do better. Thanks for listening. I really hope you elect me. I'm a pretty cool dude. <coughs> Hey guys, I'm Steven Boyd, and I'm running to be your student body president at Gallatin High School next year. We're going to be the first people at Gallatin High, and I want to make sure that we have traditions that last forever. Traditions like tailgating before football games and having pride in all sports and activities. Let's make sure that Gallatin High School is the best place that it can be. Go Raptors! Hey Bozeman High School, my name is Luke Terry. I'm the 2019-2020 Bozeman High School student body secretary and treasurer. Unfortunately, I don't go to Bozeman High anymore, so it looks like I'm gonna have to go to a different place for this video. Be right back. All right, so now that I'm in the right place, hi, I'm Luke Terry, and I'm running for student body president here at Gallatin High School. In this speech, I'm supposed to stand here and tell you what I want to change about Gallatin High School, but let's be honest with ourselves. You can't change what hasn't been created yet. So instead, I'm gonna tell you what I want to create. I want to create a community that everyone feels welcome and safe in because acceptance is the greatest form of kindness. If I'm elected student body president at Gallatin High, the most important thing to me will be ensuring that the student voice is heard and that it matters. I'm gonna work hard with your class representatives and the school administration to make sure that this year is filled with amazing, fun ideas. I've heard some of the ideas they have and I'm gonna make sure that those ideas come to life. I've been in student council for a while now. I was the class of 22's freshman vice president. And then I was the Bozeman High School student body secretary and treasurer. I know how to run student council, which is why I am the most qualified candidate for this position as student body president. If I'm elected student body president, I want to host more school spirit events, possibly have more dances, do more fun things than we ever did at Bozeman High School. It's time to take our futures into our own hands, Gallatin High. And the best way to do that is to vote for me, Luke Terry, as your student body president. Thank you. Oh yeah, sorry, one more thing. I almost forgot. As the great Pedro said, in the movie Napoleon Dynamite, if you vote for me, your wildest dreams will come true. Thank you.
What's up, GHS? Uh, I'm Tyler Nansel, and I'll be running for student body vice president next year at the new high school. Um, the main reason I'm running is because, you know, I thought it'd be good, change it up, try something I've never done, and see if we can improve GHS and make it the best we can, you know. Um, we learn a lot of good things. A lot of, there's a lot of fun things at BHS, and, you know, take some of that over with us and truly get the best out of our GHS experiment. Um, one of the main things I'd like to do if I was elected is help promote intramural sports. You know, I know a lot of kids love those. Get those going again and then maybe even see if we can get a little GHS versus BHS intramural championship or something going. Uh, I think that would be a lot of fun. So, yeah, vote Tyron Ansel, student body vice president. Hey, BHS. I'm Sienna Mills, and I will be attending GHS next year and running for junior class president. I am running because I want to make next year just super fun at the new school because it's our first year there and starting it off with a good atmosphere and making it fun for everyone to go to school and more appealing is really important to me. And adding more dress up weeks like spirit week just has some of the best memories for me in high school so far. Going to school on glitter and face paint is super fun. And adding no, no homework weeks because I think we had two of those this year. It was just really awesome to not have to worry about school for a little bit. And I think we can add more of those in there. And then this last reason, I would like to combine prom next year. I know that's not completely up to me. It's also up to prom committee, but we will only have juniors at GHS next year. And it'll be nice to have something to look forward to with all of us together again, because we are being divided. So yeah, those are a few reasons why I should vote for me as your junior class president at GHS. What's up, BHS? Don't you mean GHS? I'm Molly O'Connor and I'm running for your junior class president at Gallatin High School. And I'm Lena Springer and I'm running for your junior class vice president at Gallatin High. One of our main goals as your junior class representatives is to promote school, school spirit. spirit. We really want to increase the amount of school spirit days and activities. We value your input and your voice. We want to incorporate your ideas into school decisions. Another one of our main goals is to promote all extracurricular activities. We really want to bring the student body together to create a Gallatin High community. We also have a really cool opportunity as the first class going to Gallatin High to create new traditions. We want your input to turn these traditions into a lasting legacy. Vote for us and your first year will be Dino, Dino Might. If I make this shot, you gotta vote for us. Ow. Hi, my name is Mandy Four, and I will be running for sophomore class president and I am going to Gallatin High School. I have had the opportunity to take academic classes in BHS and Bridger. I have been exposed to a variety of different students with different needs. This experience has helped me to include all people, understanding that a characteristic of a class president needs to represent the class entirely and not just a select few. I have a sibling who attended BHS and one that will go to Gallatin. They have fostered in me a desire to get involved in school activities and have a pride representing my school. When elected sophomore class president, I will have the opportunity to work closely with administrations to create a foundation for the transition to GHS. This is an unprecedented time for our community with opening a new high school and I want to be on the forefront of developing a new school culture representing all students. I can imagine that our community is going to have a difficult time with the division of two high schools. It is my desire to work together to make this experience a positive one. I will advocate for my classmates, work in partnerships with teachers and students and staff. I will represent Raptors with integrity, hard work, and school spirit. And remember, vote Mandy Ford for sophomore class president. Go Raptors! Listen, if you want these cookies, then you're gonna have to do something for me. I would literally do anything for a cookie. Good. 
You see, what I want from you is quite simple. I would simple. give you all the diamonds in my Minecraft world. No, no, that's that's not what I- I would give you all the money in my piggy bank. No, I. what I need from you- Or my rarest Pokemon card! Look, man. I just need you to get your stuff out of the living room. I'm having a couple friends over tonight, and Mom just wants it to be clean. Nope. Huh? It's too much to ask for a cookie. I won't do it. <laughs> What's up, Hawk TV? Because of COVID-19, the CDC recommends that people stay about six feet apart from one another. The problem with this, though, is that it's quite hard to tell what exactly six feet is without using some sort of measurement device. So for this person, six feet is more like 20 feet. And for this person, six feet is more like four feet. However, I have a solution. And this is it. Now you might be wondering what exactly this is. Well, let me tell you, it's a laser measure. Basically, it gives the exact distance between me and an object, so I can know exactly six feet. Hey! You're not six feet away! Hey, you're not six feet. Nor are you. Back up. Ducks, but you're not social distancing. You're not social distancing! <laughs> Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. If you're not weird like me and you just don't randomly have a laser measure sitting around, a good old tape measure works perfectly fine. The only problem with this though is it snaps. It's time. Oh my god. I'm allowed outside again. It's so beautiful out here. I haven't been it's outside in like three months. I forgot what it's like to be outside. Karen. And this is Cooking, Cooking with, with Bly and Karen. Karen. On this episode, we're going to be making pancakes. All right, what do I need here? I got my trusty cooking book here. Flour. I need that. Okay. Now, when you're making pancakes, one of the more important parts is the fluff of the pancakes. After that, you want baking powder. That's the good stuff. How much of this, though? Sorry, the cat's causing a ruckus. Okay, teaspoons. I don't know if I would drink tea with this, but okay. I need to hold on now. Stop your jumping gun. I need salt. Yeah, it might be a little crunchy. There's nothing the liver recovery can't fix later on. <laughs> All right, now that I've got salt in there, let's get his better cousin. Let's get some sugar going on. Sugar coming in. Oh, 
All right. So this thing calls for one spoon of sugar, and that's not right. That's not the American way. These are gonna taste so bad. All right, and I need milk, and then after that, we gotta melt some butter. Oh, there's some. Ah! Back to the cup. Uh oh. What are you doing over there? I was doing the butter. Nice! I need three. <laughs> Give me a knife. Butter in the hole? Butter in the hole. It says here the last thing I need is an egg. Like, I can't remember. It's just this is the consistency. <laughs> not pancakes. <laughs> it also smells not like pancakes. We're getting there. A tiny bit. That is literally half the carton. <laughs> what if these are like the best pancakes we've ever had? I'll tell you right now, they're not. Thick. <laughs> you wait for bubbling. Bubbling around the edges is what you want. The bubble. One o'clock and I have not had a smidget of food today. This whole smorgasbord? Went surprisingly well. All right, I'm going for it. <laughs> Botched! <laughs> oh, please don't. Please don't ruin this. It's, it's water. <laughs> Actually? And that concludes Cooking with Blind Karen. Hey VHS, I know a lot of you are feeling the pangs of loneliness out in the uh, infected world, and I just want to show you a, a quick tip on a way to gain some easy company. So, you'll need a mirror, and you'll need to know how to play rock, paper, scissors. That's about it. So, step up to a regular mirror, like this one, challenge your reflection to a battle of wits and chance and mind and uh, physique and mental prowess. Rock, paper, scissors. Eventually, they'll choose different from you. Like, okay, all right. So, let's get down to business. that it does not roam free and take your place in the real world.